Ole Ivor Lovis, Wikipedia article audio. Ole Ivor Lovas Ph.D. was a Norwegian-American clinical psychologist and professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. He is considered to be a pioneer within the field of applied behavior analysis through his development of discrete trial training, and was the first to provide evidence that the behavior of children with autism could be modified through teaching. In 1999, the U.S. Office of the Surgeon General described Lovis's techniques as having been shown to be efficacious at reducing inappropriate behavior and in increasing communication learning, and appropriate social behavior which is based on 30 years of research. Lovis Method Work with George Wreckers on gender-variant children Personal Life Bibliography Ole Ivor Lovis received his undergraduate degree in psychology in 1951 from Luther College. He then obtained a doctoral degree in clinical psychology in 1958 from the University of Washington where his work was influenced by pioneers in the field of applied behavior analysis, such as Sidney W. Bijou, Donald Baer, Montrose Wolfe, Todd Risley, and James Sherman. Lovis's research on the application of Charles Furster's errorless learning for 40 hours per week has become the treatment of choice for young children with autism. Findings of independent peer-reviewed and replicated research studies associated with the Lovis method have shown that approximately 47% of children can achieve normal functioning and subsequently succeed in regular education without assistance. 43% will make significant progress but continue to demonstrate language delays, 10% will make little progress, though some have disputed these findings. In his original studies in the late 1950s aversives such as electric shock successfully treated many individuals engaging in extreme self-injury whose life expectancy was reduced by secondary infection. Subsequent studies were on extinction methods, in which attention is given only when persons are not engaging in self-injury. Lovis's use of highly aversive methods, uncommon even in his time, are now very rarely used and controversial in the field. The Lovis method includes high treatment intensity up to 40 hours per week in a 1 colon 1 teaching setting using discrete trials. Treatment is done at home with parents involved in every aspect of treatment, the curriculum is highly individualized with a heavy emphasis on teaching language, and ABBA principles are used to motivate learning and reduce non-desired behaviors. The Lovis method went on the Become Early Intensive Behavior Intervention or EIBI. In addition to being one of the founders of ABBA, Dr. Lovis taught now prominent behaviorists such as Robert Kogel, Laura Schreibman, Ted Carr, Ron Leaf, Tristram Smith, Doreen Grandpichet, Jackie Wynn, Annette Grone, John McEachin, and over 20,000 students at UCLA who took his course during his 50 years of teaching. He co founded what is today the Autism Society of America published hundreds of research articles and books, received state and national awards, and forced school districts to adopt evidence-based teaching programs. His work influenced how autism was treated, and affected the lives of parents and children diagnosed with autism worldwide. The whole approach is disputed, though, by advocates of neurodiversity, such as Michelle Dawson or Ari N. E. Eman, who claim it forces people to repress their true personalities on behalf of a narrow conception of normality. Edward K. Morris of the University of Kansas has argued that this position grossly misrepresents the actual goals of applied behavior analysis interventions and the standard practices of behavior analysts. In addition to his extensive work with autistic children, in the 1970s Lovis Co. authored four papers with George Wreckers on children with atypical gender behaviors. 
The subject of the first of these studies, a feminine young boy who was homosexual of four and a half years old at the inception of treatment, committed suicide as an adult, his family attribute the suicide to this treatment. Following his suicide in 2010, the man's sister told the news that she read his journal which described how he feared disclosing his sexual orientation because when receiving the behavior modification treatment as a young boy, his father would give him spankings if he was given a different color poker chip as punishment for feminine-like behavior when playing with dolls. Lovis was born in Lyre, Norway, and was a farm worker during the 1940s Nazi occupation of Norway. After the war, Lovis earned a music scholarship to Luther College in the American state of Iowa. He earned his undergraduate degree at Luther College and his doctorate in psychology from the University of Washington. Married twice, Lovis had four children from his first marriage and is survived by six grandchildren and three great-grandchildren.